How's it going everybody, Ben from Base Dead Mule here and welcome back to the channel. This video is another entry in my Collecting on a Budget series. So without further ado, let's check out the cards that I will feature in this video. And right off the bat, I do actually have a few vintage cards in here. Is the EX series considered vintage? Let me know what you think. Anywho, the first card right here is the Latios EX from EX Dragon. This one is actually available for around 30 euros over here in Europe for an excellent quality copy. Now unfortunately for you guys from the US and Canada I suppose, the card is kind of too expensive in my opinion. Yes there are copies for around $30, but those copies look very very rough. If I just show this one off, or this one right here for 29 this is, I mean, it's not perfect. By all means, it is an excellent copy. It's not supposed to be perfect. It does have a bit of whitening, but for a binder copy, the front looks pretty clean, right? And like finding one of those or in a condition like that over on eBay US, it's kind of difficult, honestly. Like, look at the prices. There aren't very many of these copies over on eBay, so unfortunately this is a card that I cannot recommend for you guys in the US. But don't worry, I do have an EX card that I can recommend for you guys. Which is this one right here, the Alteria EX. First up though, we do have the European version, or the European side with card market right here. You can have a Japanese version of this one for us for around 18 euros and check out this quality once again perfectly fine binder copy of course this is not going to get any psa 10s or something like that but that's not what we're after we're after some binder copies and this is probably a card i will end up buying further down the line but i'll probably end up buying the english version although right here over on ebay us i did find this copy right here for around 30 dollars which is really, really good and the quality because this is an actual picture of the card. It's not like um, a seller that has multiple copies. And as you can see, actually it looks pretty clean. Even from the back, it looks pretty clean. That is a pretty clean looking light plate copy in my opinion. Pretty nice and for $30, I think that's a no brainer for an EX card. Now next up is actually our last vintage card in this video. This one is the Dark Dragonite from the Team Rocket expansion or Rocket Gang as it is called in Japanese. Because we are after the Japanese version of this card which is much much cheaper than the English version of course. Over on or over in Europe on card market it is available for around 25 euros for a copy. While over on the eBay US side I found one that's even cheaper than our version. Uh, around $20. Once again, this is the actual card. Of course, naturally at this price, it isn't supposed to be perfect. I mean, I can see a, a few scratches here and there. But all in all, I think for a card that old, and once again, as a binder copy, this looks pretty good, honestly, in my opinion. That, that's a pretty cool card. Now, let's move it over to some illustration rares. And this first one right here is one that has just recently been released. It's the Zara Aura from Stellar Miracle, a card that I actually pulled in my opening, among other really cool cards that I pulled, of course. This one being available for um, $3.80. I didn't include offers from Card Market for this one because at the time of filming, there aren't very many offers of this card on Card Market. And, you know, eBay, it might be eBay.com, but I'm pretty sure you can find this card on any eBay site, be it eBay Germany or eBay Belgium, so on and so forth, you get the point. And this is a really cool card. Highly recommend you buy yourself a copy of this because this is great stuff. Now, next up is this Charmander right here. This is actually a promo card. I just love this illustration. Love how Charmander is like staring at the Pidgeys right here. Really cool looking stuff. This one being available for around 5 euros over in Europe. Now, unfortunately for you guys from the US and Canada, I suppose, it is a little bit more expensive, but that kind of seems to be the deal with um, TCG Player in general for now. A lot of odd cards are more expensive. Not this one, this is just a little bit more expensive. This one is around $8, $9. But still, seems kind of odd that most of these cards, or some of these cards, are way more expensive over on, um, on TCG Player. Seems kind of odd. Anywho, luckily though, we do have a few cards that I think I missed in my um, cheap Japanese cards video. So here we have the Dragonair from Pokemon 151. 
in Europe. This is below two dollars or two euros. I guess someone from um, Switzerland. So you might have to pay tax on that. But two euros twenty is still a great price for that one. Whereas the English version, though, unfortunately, way more expensive. I was actually surprised. I think I might have pulled this in one of my openings earlier, like an English opening of 151. I've done plenty of those. And at the time, I just thought, oh yeah, that's cool, I like Dragonair. Stuck it in a sleeve and stuck it in my trade binder. Until someone pointed out to me, hey, yo, do you know this card is almost 20 euros? I was like, what? No way. Like in English, it's so crazy how expensive these cards are in English, but then luckily we do have the Japanese option. Um, same goes for you from the US, so now you actually do have a great deal right here for $2.68 for this card right here. Really, really great stuff. I can actually zoom in. Look at this. Great illustration. Next up, we have the Mian Shao from Ancient Roar, a card that I definitely should have featured in my cheap Japanese cards video. This one is available for a stunning one euro. One euro for a card like this. Can I find one with a picture? There you go. Look at this. This just looks beautiful. The illustration. Man, this is really nice. I like this kind of stuff. Over on the US side, a little bit more expensive, $2.19, but I still think that is a great price for this card right here. Next up is a card that I think I featured a few times on this list before. It is the Guard of War EX from Steam Siege. Say what you will about Steam Siege, but this card is amazing. Like, absolutely. If you see it in person, I don't even think pictures can do it justice. You can see the texture slightly, you have to see it in person. The card is stunning. It is also illustrated, as you can see down here, by Mitsuhiro Arita. So you already know it's gonna be top-notch. And an excellent copy. Um, this goes for around 25 to 30 euros, it seems like. While over on TCG Player, a light plate copy is available for $20. Are you serious? A card this cool. And this is basically, as I've said multiple times throughout this video, perfectly fine for a binder copy, a light plate version of this one. If you really want to grade some cards, yeah, you might have to grab a near mint or a minty version, but that will set you back for a lot more than this one. But for the most part, or I think all of my videos for now, are just gonna be mainly focused for binder copies. And this is a perfect example for this one, $20. There you go. Um, here is the Pikachu from Crown Zenith. That's also a card I featured a bunch of times in, in these videos. But I just have to keep featuring it because you have to keep paying attention. This card is amazing. Absolutely. And it is below 10 euros. Although I do suspect now that Crown Zenith is out of print. Well, I say Crown Zenith is out of, out of print. But isn't there a new set um, releasing to, to GameStop literally like somewhere in the next week or, or month or so? Uh, kind of strange, maybe a bad timing, but I do believe Crone Zenith might be out of print by now. And as soon as, like, the print completely stops, this card will gain in value and it will get more expensive. So now would be the best time to buy it if you want one for your binder. Over on the TCG player site, though, it is a similar price. A little bit, a little bit cheaper for this one at around $8. Really cool. Oh, look at this one. It actually, gone, actually has gone down in price over the last three months and even over the last six months. We're sitting at $12, strange. Next up, we have the Hizuian Zoroark V-Star from V-Star Universe. I definitely featured this one in my cheap Japanese card video, but this card is just so stunning that I have to feature it again. It is also available for below 10 euros. While over on the US side, or eBay US, um, it's available for around $10, so just $10 for a card as stunning as this. You have to pay attention to this card, this is amazing. And the same kind of goes for V-Star Universe as it does for Crown Zenith. V-Star Universe might be out of print now, pretty sure. So this card and all of the cards from V-Star Universe will gain in value. Not to say that this is, should be a good investment, because obviously at some point all cards or most cards are going to gain value, that's not the point. Now if you want to get it for a cheap price, you know, if you want to get it for an affordable price, you should buy one now. That's the point of the video. So there you go. Next up, I do actually have a few full art trainers on this list. The first one being this Nimona from Paldean Fates. 
this one, available for an incredible price, below 5 euros for a special illustration rare. I know the um, the normal version of Nimona from Paldean Fates, that's basically like 10 cents now or something ridiculous like that, it's basically bulk. This one is a little bit more expensive, but still very, very cheap. And, I mean, it just looks so cool. It's a special illustration rare for 5 euros, can you go wrong with that? I don't think so. Although, I also have the Japanese version right here. And this one is available for under 12 euros. And I'm currently working on a video, or at least I'm trying to see the texture difference between English and Japanese um, special illustration rares. And I only really have one to compare, so I did actually buy the Koraidon to kind of compare the texture if the Japanese really is that much better, because I have, I have a suspicion that, well, of course the texture is gonna be better, that's, like, that's no question, of course it is, but I think it's not as huge of a difference as it was in the Sword and Shield era. I think a really good example of the texture is actually the um, Lugia V alternate art from Silver Tempest. Um, Primal Lugia actually has a video up on his channel where he compares the English versus Japanese texturing of that card. Highly recommend you check out that video. That is a great illustration to see the texture difference. That's like night and day. Like Sword and Shield era, there's there's no com there's no competition. Japanese is always going to be better in that era. Like the texture is so ridiculous. But I have a feeling that while in the Scarlet and Violet, the texture of the Japanese cards are a little bit better, a little bit finer, maybe a little bit more defined, it's not as noticeable. So you can go with either or, either go with the English or the Japanese version. Doesn't really matter too much, the card is still pretty cool in any language. Over on the US side, I only have the um, English new owner on TCG Player, of course, because officially TCG Player doesn't allow you to sell Japanese cards, which is kind of odd. Um, English version for you is around $7, but I did find a Japanese version on eBay.com as well, and this one is available for around $14. Um, either version you go with doesn't really matter, because both are really, really cool. Next up right here is the Melanie, another card from V-Star Universe that I think it's actually overlooked a lot. This one in Japanese is available for around 10 euros, and the illustration is actually really, really funny. I don't know if you ever noticed that. Um, what is this down here? Why is Melanie frying up a snom? I don't even want to know what what this is, so let's just click um, quickly away before we see something we're not supposed to. That's kind of curse, not gonna lie. Anywho's right here on the US side on eBay.com. It's way cheaper for you guys, so this one is available for around six dollars sixty. Next up, we have the last full art trainer on this list. This is the Marnie Sprite from Brilliant Stars. This one is available for around 7 euros. Um, first off, let me show you the price for the English version of Marnie Sprite for you guys from the US. So this one is around $5, I guess with um, including shipping, it's it's like 6 to $7 right here. Um, let me find the Japanese, or the Chinese version for you guys, sorry. Let me find the Chinese version for this one, because I'm actually curious. Okay, so as it turns out, I mixed the card up, so this card, even in Chinese, is still pretty expensive. But I, I was thinking of this card. Um, this is this is just the Marnie, not the Marnie's Pride. I thought this was also way cheaper in Chinese. Although I do have to admit, buying Chinese cards of eBay is kind of a bad idea. Not because they're like, they could be fake or, or they, they're like bad quality or like anything like that, no, no, because they're overpriced, that's it, they, they just overpriced from, from ebay.com. I am working on a video on how to buy Chinese cards for cheap or way cheaper than ebay.com, um, and I have, I am planning to have that released next month, so stay tuned for that, I hope I'm be, I'll be able to do that, but other than that, you still have the English version of the Marnie's Pride. Well, the next few cards right here are special illustration rares. Let's start off with one that I personally think looks really, really cool. It's the Iron Valiant EX from Paradox Rift. This one is available for below 20 euros over here on Card Market, while over on the 
TCG player side on the US side, it is more expensive, it is around $30, but I still think if you can get it for around $30, I, I believe that is still a good price in my opinion. So I actually forgot to add this in the video, which is why I'm recording this after the fact, but I wanted to point out that the Japanese version of the Iron Valiant is cheaper than the English one, specifically for you guys from the US and Canada, I suppose. This one is available for around $22, and I do think that might be a better purchase instead of the English version, even though $30 is still fine for the English one, in my opinion. Just wanted to throw that out there, but here you go. Look at the price history for this one. So this is when it was freshly released. Of course, you really shouldn't be buying cards when they were freshly released because they're way too expensive. Has been going down ever since. There have a few, there have been a few up and ups and downs, as you can see right here. Um, the up was 35, and now it seems to be going lower still. Last time it was going down to all the way around 27, right here to 26. Maybe you wait a bit and you get it below 30, but I do still think that around 30 it's a great price for this card, because this card is amazing. Next up I have the three evolutions from Paldea Evolved. First up, starting with the Quaquavel, this one being available for around 6 euros, while over on the US side, a little bit more expensive at around $8, $59. Here is the Skeledurge, this one is around 10 euros, while over on the US side on TCG Play is a little bit more expensive. Pretty sure this is the most expensive for you people from the US. So this one is around $16, it seems like. And here is the Meowskarada, which funnily enough, this is the most expensive one for us over in Europe. And um, this one is available for around 12 euros, while over on TCG Player, it's around $13. Really quick through all of these starters, you might have seen these already. I think my personal favorite is the Skeledurch. But there you go, three pretty cool looking special illustration rares. And last but not least, I only have one card right here. Although the same applies to all the amazing rares there are. The Rayquaza is just, you know, for demonstration, if you will. Because the amazing rares are still super, super cheap, but they are so unique, like nothing that ever was before. And they look really cool, and the Rayquaza is available for around $2.40. Last time I checked, that was the most expensive one, although I might be wrong by now. Anyways, all the amazing rares are pretty cool, it's not just the Rayquaza. All of them are pretty nice. Well, but I guess that does it for this video. If you enjoyed this one, then please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix that for future videos. Other than that, over to the right here, there is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Over here, there is a subscribe button. Click the subscribe button first, then click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I hope I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace, take care.